Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Advanced figure preview video. Before we begin, I want to say a massive thank you to Ryan Kirkwood for going out in person with me and taking some badass pictures at ACGHK Hong Kong's version of Comic Con. Show Ryan some love in the comments below, without him this series and this video literally wouldn't be possible. If you are heading down to the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button, so you're notified as soon as a brand new figure preview video, advanced or otherwise, goes live on the channel. Hot Toys? You need to make this. Ray was an epic movie, and it's a crime that it went on Disney+. Plus. It should have had a theatrical run, it was that good. And I'm pretty sure Predator fans agree with me on that, it was outstanding. This figure looks great. And it's been a very long time since Hot Toys' last Predator, who I'm pretty sure was Wolf Pred from AVP Requiem. I could be wrong on that, let me know if I am, but I'm fairly certain that was their last one. Hot Toys cut their teeth in the game, in this industry making Predator figures. They started off as, like, kits where you had to put the figures together, but they weren't really kits. They were fully painted with a bunch of different accessories and great articulation. Then they moved on to making full boxed 1-6 scale figures, and then they stopped with Predator for some reason. They forgot, I think, where they started. There are a lot of Predators that nowadays people would love redos of, especially the Jungle Hunter, a 3.0 or 2.0 if you don't count the Predator version from 2016. I do, nevertheless, I would love a 2.0 or 3.0 version of that one. Prey though, he's right up there, and this, if this kickstarts the hype for Predator figures again, I will be really, really happy because we need so many more of them. If you're sitting here thinking, but why Predators, Justin? Why are they so special? They're huge, they're alien, they're very intricate in terms of the design, the sculpt work, the detailing, the paint applications, the accessories are sick, and they usually come with these beautiful diorama display bases, exactly like this guy does. You've got Naru's hatchet, I'm fairly certain that's hers, wedged into this log behind him. You've got a little bit of kindling for a, what might have been a fire previously around the front, some rock work. And the display base is a diorama base, but it's not huge. It doesn't take up too much space in the display. At least in terms of width and depth. Height? Yes, the Predator is extremely tall. So he will take up a significant amount of height. Everything else, I think you'll be able to work around. This display base is not a massive footprint. I don't know if we've seen this particular base before. Maybe they've taken a few bits and pieces and remolded the, like the rock around the back with the arrows wedged into it and add the log and the campfire. Or not, it could be entirely new, I'm not sure. Predator himself, the feral Pred, he looks feral. Look at those toes. He's got some massive nails. The skin is very well textured, wet and glossy looking. He's got the wraps sculpted at the base of his shin and then on the foot, so it looks seamless. It almost looks like a piece of fabric overlapping another piece of fabric, which is exactly what it's designed to look like. So you will get maximum range of motion with that split cut design. Unfortunately, the knees, yeah, they are very, very ugly. Hot Toys usually can hide this with the netting. Feral Pred had no netting, so his knee joints, they are on full display. When he's standing upright, the kneecap being sculpted with that skin wrinkling and the scarring and the spotting, that will make it look a little bit better. You'll still see a cut, but it won't be as egregious as this knee joint is. It is super visible and very, very prominent right up front when you bend his knees. So if you're clever with your posing, having him standing upright, making him as tall as possible anyway, which is what I'm going to do, and if you have his shield covering his knee like what Hot Toys have done, very clever, then you can be quite selective with which joints you have on display. I will try my best to hide the knees in my collection. The shield does have multiple different formats, the expanded out version and the non-expanded out version, you saw that with the accessories a moment ago. The shield itself looks great. I am very curious to see how it attaches to his gauntlet, magnets, or pegs. If they are going with pegs, please make them sturdy. Hot Toys Predators are known to be a little bit fragile. I don't want this guy to be. And around the back of him, he does have a couple of trophies. Feral Pred, he's been around. He's killed quite a few creatures, it would seem. Including in the Prey movie. This guy showed that he was not afraid to kill some big freaking creatures. He took on that bear no problem. He also comes with a 
combi stick of sorts? It's like a retro version, I suppose? Or maybe it's a mace weapon of some kind? Either way, it's alien, it extends out, and you do have a couple of little spikies up on top for maximum damage when hunting his prey. See what I did there? Prey? I'm so sorry. Now, the front of his torso does have a cut, usually hidden by netting and harnesses because they have the med packs on the back. None of that stuff is applicable with Feral Pred, so you can see that cut as plain as day, and that means the lighter pink line down his front and the red paintwork. If you do twist the torso like they've done here, it is out of alignment. That's just them being beholden to the design of this guy. They've managed to disguise the shoulders pretty well because the dreads come over the front and they've sculpted it so it sits very flush over the top of the shoulders. But joints like the knees and also the torso, not much you can do unfortunately. This is just what they had to do to get this big boy done. You can also see the elbow joints. I'm fine with that because when you bend the elbows at 90 degrees, which you can, you get a full 90 out of the single bend, They've recessed the front part of the forearm, it's a little bit rounded, so you might even be able to get a little bit more than 90. When you bend them, it looks almost seamless. Once again, not perfect, there are going to be joints, let's move on from that. He does have his wrist blades extended out. I'm not sure if they're going to be metal like previous versions, they don't look like they are in person, they didn't have that metallic sheen that the other ones did. So right now, I'm going with plastic. He also has his med pack around the back. I'm not quite sure how that's attached to him because he doesn't have the harness or shoulder straps on. We'll have to wait and see if Hot Toys ever make this guy how that's attached, but you can see it tucked underneath his dreads. The dreads themselves, there are some mass sculpted ones where there are like three, four or five of them clumped together. There are also individual ones. They're all fanned out and I would love if they were wired. I don't know if that's possible, Still, it would be really cool. At the very least, you could heat them up and potentially shape them. I've seen some people do that with the previous dreads. They look more structured and more solid compared to what we saw with, say, Jungle Hunter, Wolf Predator, and the previous Predators Hot Toys have made. This bio mask is very unique. Instead of going mechanical, there are still a couple of techie bits like the classic, iconic three dot predator targeting sensor, the laser array, you had to have that off to the side. And down the middle, there is a little bit of a glow. I'm not sure if this is lit up. It looks very convincing, almost as if it's got some LEDs shining through underneath some translucent plastic, and they painted the bone texture on top of that. I'm not sure if that's what's happened, or if they've just used some very clever neon paint to make it fool me and look like it's actually glowing. Either way, I've got no complaints with this bio mask. It is nasty. Is it removable? I don't know. We will have to wait. I know I've said this a couple of times now, we will have to wait and see, but with these advanced figure preview videos, these aren't actually up for pre-order yet, I genuinely don't know. The Feral Predator had a very, very ugly mug. He was straight nasty. So I am hoping it's removable. I would like the option to be able to display him roaring, crunched down on his diorama display base, front and center in my Predator collection. If I'm stuck with the bio mask on, not the end of the world, just not quite what I'm hoping for. The fusion between the bone structure and the way it's painted looking almost a little bit wet and glossy and nasty with that dark coffee coloured wash in the crevices and then the lighter dry brushing coupled with the techie bits and the glowing effect, it all just works and it looks ace. I am curious to know what kind of creature he killed to make this bio mask. Was it a creature from another planet? Was it another predator perhaps? Was it another kind of creature? If you know, just weigh in down below in the comment section. Also let me know, do you want Naru? I do. Hot toys, please. We need Naru. We got Dutch from the original Predator movie, Predator 1. But we didn't get any of the other human characters, even though they're kind of integral to the story just as much as Naru is, so we need her and her dog. Hot Toys, make it happen. If you are heading down to the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button, if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe, we'll catch you in the next video.